The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Nadex Options Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Bull Bear, Nadex Options Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials down 69. You get the Nasdaq off 77. S&Ps are down 13. Gold contract up $12.30, trading at 1234 an ounce. We have silver up 15 cents. $14.79. Silver is catching a bid, and that's what we need, folks, inside the metals market. Gold caught a good bid last week. Uh, silver wasn't bad, but no wide price spread. We're getting some action now. Light sweet crude down 22 cents, trading $71.14 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You got the 10 year note down one tick, 118.10.30 a bond off two, 138.21. King dollar, King dollar down 176 ticks, trading 94.735. The euro is trading at 115.92 to one U.S. dollar. The yen is out here at 113.77 to one U.S. dollar. And uh, between you doing that update, uh, you know, it's not like it was last week, but that S&P uh, just moved down quick, as did the uh, NDX 100. We'll tease the 11 o'clock show right after us. Fast market, man. Fast yeah. market. Seriously. Oh, totally. I know. I had to do a double take and say, man, was I wrong on those numbers at the 10 o'clock update? Because it's only 10.05. But no, a little bit of a sell-off in the last five minutes even. Yeah. And we take a look at the NQs, what you're going to see uh, inside these NQs. They just went from uh, 71.72 Oh my god, they went down 90 points. The 7186. Yeah, now that's going back almost two hours just to put that's, yeah. Quite a run though, I know. Eight things, things. 20 this morning. Yeah. Right. Can I just zoom in a little bit? I just wanted to see exactly what we're talking about because there is like your bar. So that's the 10 o'clock bar, right? Yeah. The high of that bar is going to be in 7112. Um, we're down 30 points in the last seven minutes. Totally. And if we go take a look at the uh, strength versus the weakness inside the NDX, you got uh, C Trip. Uh, is down 6.5%. Uh, you get Activision down 3.5%. Adobe's down 3.5%. Mercado Libro is down 3.5%. Uh, uh, inside the uh, Dow Industrials, what do we have? So inside the Dow, you have, uh, let's see, get that baby up. So strength versus the weakness. Uh, Point-wise, uh, Goldman's putting six positive points. JP5, Disney 4. Taken away from it, Apple. Apple's getting yeah, uh, hit a little. Get those tech stocks. Apple, Microsoft, right up yeah. there. Yeah. Boeing. Boeing's, Boeing's Boeing always, because it's that $300 yeah, exactly. gorilla in the room. Yeah. Exactly. And we get over to the IWM. We take a look at the IWM. The IWM, folks, had finished its ABC structure on the way down. Now, this was the largest ABC in the industries, meaning the S&P, the uh, NASDAQ, um, uh, the NDX. Um, the price projection had been 151, I think it was 47. We made it to 151.88. So it's going to be intriguing to see uh, if the market uh, basically can get a small bounce out of here. Um, that, that was big energy last week that we had to use up. Uh, gold, gold's still catching a bid. Now it's going to get interesting in the gold market because it's like, okay, what's really moving it? And there's so many things out here, man, that. Um, <laughs> You know, you can you can take your pick. Yes, uh, is one a lot them. going on in the world. That's exactly. Let alone financial markets. Right, and you know the the gold equities as well as the silver equities and the metal itself is acting differently than it did in 2007, 2008. You know, because 2007, 2008, man, that market was going down. Everything was going down. Um, that is not the case in, in this one. The yes. gold gold caught the bid, and we still. What, we, what hasn't happened is that the dollar has not fallen apart. I mean, the dollar is still oh, at, really at highs. Yep. You know, I would so, say so if that dollar, you know, it looks to me like the dollar got inside its lower range, and that's saying that now the dollar can go after the strength that it had uh, on June 14th. Uh, each time that we get down to that strength, even the top of that strength, though, there's no sellers. So the top of that strength in this contract is 93,995. Just call yeah. it 94. Right. Um, you know, we'll see it. We'll see how it shakes out. It didn't yeah. have the strength to the top, but guess what? You know, bottom for for, low, for lower prices. Uh, you're gonna need uh, more volume. 
So How about those Patriots last night? I was night? just going to say. I was just going to say. <laughs> I said I fall, fell asleep in the fourth quarter, man. I woke up, and they had a good lead, and I was surprised to see how right. action. I missed all the good action right. in the fourth quarter. You, you woke I back up. I was lucky. I woke back up in the fourth quarter. Uh, and then the Red Sox got it done, too. Yeah. Good night for Boston. Yeah. yeah. And that the, the, the quarterback for Kansas City is phenomenal. Mahomes. Yeah. It's, he that's, is. That's, that's going to be the new Brady, I think. Oh, uh, no, there's, no, there's never going to be another Brady, man. Oh, let's see. He's only 23 years old. No, and I know. know it's, uh, yeah, it's an exciting time to be a Kansas City fan, regardless of last night. They were 5-0 and coming into the game. Oh, They're yeah. just 5-1 and right now. Right. They are going to be uh, quite a team all year, let alone for, for some years to come, because they have quite a cast around um, their quarterback, Mahomes, as well, in okay. terms of uh, the weapons he has. And that's part of what makes him so... So they need a better defense, right? <laughs> it seems like everybody in the NFL this year needs yeah, a better defense. Um, yeah, offense is the way to be. I mean, it feels like uh, my friends and I were chatting like a college game where you're right. getting, you know, scores it, it, 40 to 40 in the fourth quarter. Right. Where's the defense? Yeah. Right. But, hey, right. Yeah. NFL, in fairness to the defense, too. NFL makes the rules for offense, man. Those poor defenders. I mean, there's countless times now, you know, and you got to be safe. You got to be the head hits, but there's defenders getting penalties well, that, all the time. That do that when. Brady got that touchdown last night. Yes. That was intense yeah. because it looked like, well, I think the yeah. guy that tackled him right. just wanted to be easy on I him. Hear and he you. let him go. I hear you. you know, I don't That's, know if he let him go. Oh, no, was, you're right. It was it's, out of it's, place. It's unfortunate I mean? from a football standpoint that you got these guys worrying about hitting people in defense. And guess what? You want to play football? You're going to get hit, man. That's that's the problem, right? It's like it's a dangerous game, and um, but the defenders, man, the the NFL knows people love touchdowns. They don't love you know scoreless games, so yeah. they, they engineer they those games. It. They got it. They got it. They got it. Let's take a look at some of the uh, high volume equities out here, and we'll see whether we're going to get high volume. We got high volume all week last week, folks, going into low, going into lower price. Um, so right now you get uh, Bank of America's up 58 cents. They probably just come out with numbers. Apple's they down. did come out with numbers this okay. morning, yeah. Apple's down 350. Microsoft's off 217. You get uh, Activision, that's down two and a half bucks. Netflix is down nine. Let, let's go. They got a couple downgrades, and I believe they're getting their earnings tomorrow, if I'm correct. So yeah. a couple companies. Talk about a little volatility, huh? Yeah. You well. know, Thursday, you trade down to 315. Friday, you trade up to 341. Right. And 10% uh, moves, not bad. So, the 16th. Yeah. So, tomorrow at 4.05, okay. they come out. And uh, I even had, I think, let me just jump back because I had the story as we wrap up. There you go, yeah. So, they, they're slashed by Goldman Sachs and Ray Raymond James. Ahead of earnings. Yeah. So, Goldman put their 12 month target, <laughs> not bad, right? 470 to 430 now only. And Raymond James, uh, Lowered it to 400 from 445. So it's pretty remarkable, though, in terms of they're still putting it at 430 and 445, and the stock's trading at 330. Wow. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. So. But you don't they, like to see a downgrade, no matter what, in terms right. of the expectation. They, they're going to be looking for. Especially the day before earnings, right? You got to, like, they're coming out the day before earnings saying, ah, yeah. Look at that growth, man. So they're looking for $4 billion this quarter. They are. They're growing by about 5.5% domestically. They look at the international. They're internationally, they're growing by almost 20%, 19%. Where are That's, you looking? Right here. International. 57%. Oh, for three. Yeah. That's 20% a year, right? Okay. I think that might be annualized. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I, I think so. That'd be insane. I, I think so. We'll have to figure it out. Either way, staggering numbers. And and that international is really where they're a powerhouse right now for growth, for sure. Oh, huge. yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will 
will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. If you'd like to be the bank and get the type of interest they receive instead of the low interest rates they give to clients, then I have an investment you may want to take a look at. I'm offering four-year secured first mortgages on billable city lots in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment can be anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000 per billable city lot. The interest paid is 7% per year, paid monthly. Depending on the investment, the income per month per lot ranged from $175 for a $30,000 investment to $437.50 for a $75,000 investment. If you are in the CD market, you want to look at this investment. St. Petersburg is located in Pinellas County, which is the densest county in Florida. If you're looking for an investment with your principal intact that pays a good interest rate, this may be for you. The supply is limited, so act now. For more information on these secured first mortgage opportunities, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now down 63. You get the Nasdaq off 88. S&Ps are down uh, 15 and a half. Uh, Percentage-wise, what we had out here, you get the Dow uh, Industrials down two tenths of one percent. S&Ps four tenths, and the Nasdaq uh, is taking the hit. The Nasdaq is down 1.1. Uh, Nasdaq always the leader, whether it's up or down. It's just uh, leads them up. Volatility. Leads them down. So oil. Let's go take a look at the oil market. So, Talk about a little volatility. Yeah, you got uh, the Saudis saying that uh, bottom line is that you better not do anything to us or we're going to retaliate. Well, the oil market saying it really doesn't matter, folks, because oil looks like it's setting up an ABC structure on the way down, which would be pretty wild watching this thing shake out. We came off the highs at 76. You get down to 70. You have volume on the way down. No volume up. It's rejected price. So this is going to get interesting watching this whole thing shake out, man. You know, um, you weren't around the, the oil embargo. That was a trip in itself. So what did you say, 73, right? Yeah. That, I heard you, you, went, you on the gold report. No, yeah. I was not around. No. Thankfully. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was and, just jumping around. What else was I going to see? I had. Oh, well, their investment conference blew up. And What's that? In Saudi Arabia. The investment conference. No one's okay. going to the investment conference. Okay. So there's a huge investment conference. I'd, I'd seen some headlines yeah. about that. It was like the Davos. It was supposed to okay. be the big showcase. They they did it last year, and it was the big showcase. It was like uh, um, the prince's coming out party. Okay. And now it's, it's going to be a closed party this yeah? year. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Pretty wild. Man. Yeah. I'm telling you. Um, Where are we going, right? We're going to Google. Tech stocks. I want to, I want to see it. what Google's doing here. So Google's down 18. You're at 1,091. This could be serious. This is interesting, man. So you're off 1,273. 
Now, Google's one of the first equities folks. You know, if you've been talking about this since February. Now, Google's one of the first equities that actually tested its high volume low. It's going to be pretty wild if it goes after it again, but it looks like it's going to. The, the high of that bar is uh, uh, 1110 you know, you're 20 bucks underneath it. The low of that bar is 9.92. And when Google tested, the first test was fine. I mean, it tested with light of oil and it took off. It tested with 11.8 million versus <coughs> 15. Me. Takes off, makes a new high. But that bar last week is saying, hey, we're going back down there. And it, it looks to me, and it's going to, what you, what you, we, we may be able to get out of Google is this. If Google comes down there and then rejects it again, that's telling me that the, we're going to be in a consolidation and if we go over to the SPY, and this is, this is kind of, it's, it's low, but it would be telling me that the SPY wants to get down to that uh, 252 also, and then that'll be a high-end consolidation. You know, but you can see that from the highs to the lows, that's quite a movement. It is, and we still know? have a little ways to go. Oh, yeah. A little to say, like, and a if, lot, and if, right? we, and if we're going there, you're going to build a B to a C of an ABC structure down. That's, I think the, I think the energy in the market is basically taken out of the market right now, and I think somehow we're going to get a bounce out of here. And how about Sears as well, oh, right? That Sears. is actually the story yeah. I was struggling to jump over to. So today, the day of reckoning, as in they are going to file for bankruptcy. And, Chapter uh, 11, yeah. Yeah, so there's a lot of stories out there. This is one just talking about the CFO, talking about the amount of jobs. Um, We'll see. I mean, I don't know I don't know what, uh, what you do with 68,000 jobs for a company like Sears. There's pretty much been pushed to the wayside and just can't compete. So unfortunately, those jobs got to go somewhere else. You know, there's no way to save jobs for a company that can't compete. That's no. not how the economy and works. If you, would, if you would say there's plenty of people that need, that are looking for other people. So right. go, go there. I quick. would agree. I would agree. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, um, it's going to be interesting to see how much uh, Lambert is still owned out of this. Uh, owed, rather. Okay. Yeah, you because know, he had um, basically kept this company alive for a long period of time. So can I just say one of the key yeah. so they have they say they have about 400 stores that have positive earnings before interest and uh, mm -hmm. the plan to sell as a going concern allowing to reorganize around a smaller footprint it always seems like you know it's 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 uh, the brand at this point has suffered so dramatically oh, yeah. um, that that they might have the stores but guess what then what happens you close down all the rest of the stores and then you have this tiny little retailer running 400 stores that right. it's only a matter of time before those are sinking right, right. Um, yeah so they're gonna in addition to the 400 store 142 store closures to begin immediately. It's going to select additional stores to close after a comprehensive analysis. Yada 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 yada. I don't know. They got a tough job there, and and, um, and don't be surprised, folks, if you see in the next few days that some of these stores that they're going to close, that you'll have uh, Amazon taking over the stores for sure. like 60 days. Sure. You know, it, yeah. it's it's one of those. The, the stores are right up the alley for like delivery for holidays yeah you know we'll see I mean? where the ones are that they're closing too because those might not be the ones though you know in terms of like if they're like the cream i mean they're saying like sears is like oh we might keep the 400 stores of the cream of the crop well guess what i don't, I don't yeah. really buy that one i mean they're they're in a marketing plan right now to market those stores as attractive right. to other investors to right. try and get the best they can for their shareholders Regardless, uh, I mean, I've talked about, I've been in the Sears at Tampa, whether, I forget whether it's in West Shore Mall, I think, or International, it's in one of them. Yeah. And we had discussions on it before. What is, now, they it was, added something else to that. Is that where the Whole Foods is now? No, I don't believe no. so. Okay. I'm not sure what you're talking okay. about. Um, but nonetheless, it was not a good experience in the store. Right. To put it right. lightly, in terms of, you know, just what was there. So it almost smelled, seriously. You know, I mean, it's that, it's not making stuff yeah. up. You know, they really, it's, it's, it's that type of deal where when you're just dilapidated, you're old, you're not competing, maybe there's an, an environment to, of allowing things to just fester. Right. Obviously. You need big money if no. you're taking care of all those stores. Yeah. No doubt about it. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at the XAU, HUI. Now, but they both, folks, uh, caught a bid last week. Uh, continue higher. You know, I, what I expect you're going to see here, because we came down so quick in April, um, bottom line is that XAU is game to the uh, July high, which in this case is 84 bucks. It's we a good $12 higher. It's good, like 17% right? it, above it where we're trading at right now. And yeah. then you got the, the XAU, I mean, uh, that's, yeah, HUI, right? Yeah, no, I just had that one up. XAU, I gotta get it. Okay. Nope. And they were different. You had the XAU. Oh, I did? Yeah. Yep. 
Oh, see the oh, okay. So they're both going after the July high. Well, the July high is the same as it's almost right the same as the April high. I see. Okay. okay. So that's where I think we're going, though. I mean, that that's what it looks like when you when you come down that quirk. Bottom line is that once you move a conviction, you you can get up there that sure. quick. And that's a long that's a long way up, man. It is. No. There's no doubt. All right. Um, you know, we'll we'll see how uh, it shakes out. But if you uh, because ABX is getting such a bid, man, that's putting monster. Well, you can see ABX is uh, getting closer to it. ABX, the high is at 1359. You're at 1288. Yeah. You know, meaning with that, that we're, where I'm gauging, folks, that is the July high in Barrick, and then of course that's putting juice under Wrangell Resources because of the fact that <laughs> Wrangell, man, because the the, the quotient of one uh, 6.128 shares of Barrick equals uh, Wrangell. So sure, so to walk people in, they yeah. had a merger, right? So right. now their shares are tied. That's what you're talking about, yeah. So uh, that's that's almost there. It's two bucks away. Sure. Pretty good. 877-927-6648. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now. Where are you? Now look at that. You get a snap back. This, this market wants to bounce. You get the Dow flat. You get the Nasdaq down 68. S&P's down 8. Gold's up by 1040. Silver's up 14 cents. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Jason Path has just launched his weekly newsletter, The Quantitative Edge, available only at TFNN.com. Right now, you can sign up for Jason's outstanding weekly report, including midweek updates whenever warranted, with a 30-day money-back guarantee included, so you have nothing to risk. Jason develops his trade recommendations by creating an ensemble of predictive and mathematical models trained on data by leveraging a variety of techniques, including market-based computer simulations. Jason then combines these sophisticated predictive and analytical models with deeply researched macro outlooks to identify opportunities in a number of different markets for traders to act on. Whether you're looking to trade futures, equities, commodities like crude oil and gold, forex or cryptos, Jason covers it all. Sign up for Jason Paff's weekly trading newsletter right now by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find the quantitative edge under the newsletters tab. TFNN.com, educating investors. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now down 22. We get the Nasdaq off 72. Uh, S&Ps are down 10. Let's go take a look at a few of these uh, commodities out here. So we have uh, gasoline is off uh, 1%. That's trading, uh, unleaded trading 191 on wholesale. You got heating oil off uh, six tenths of one percent. That's at 230. Cattle is, uh, that's flat. Uh, gold, we got up eight tenths of one percent. Silver up uh, nine tenths. Oh, look at the natural gas. Natural gas is catching a bit again. Yeah, up that's, seven pennies. Yeah. That's a, that's, let's see what we have here. I heard it. it I, well, out in Denver, man, it's 20 degrees out. It's hard to comprehend 20 degrees. <laughs> yeah, some talk about volatility, volatile temperatures all over the country right oh, now. Seriously. As we're getting, I think we almost had record-breaking heat yesterday. Yeah. We got a nice cool day, Today's actually, nice. Saturday. Yeah. No, I was going to say we're going to get heat all all week, I think, again. It's under 90, I think, though. What's that? Right, it's going to be under 90. No. No? No, no oh, unfortunately. I know. Bummer. hate to break it to you. I yeah. know, like 90, 91, maybe even 92 for the peak of the day. Okay. Pretty crazy in terms of coming into Halloween. Um, and I got some pictures of some friends up in Boston, though. They're already, they went from, like you're saying, straight summer to straight, like, cold, but just accelerated the fall and just beautiful trees, like, really? ASAP from, yeah, miss those lovely fall trees. Let's go take a look at the uh, GDX. So uh, GDX also uh, went topside last week, had juice behind it. Um, that's uh, trading up 60 cents right now. So this was, you know, it, well, it's going to be wild here, folks. And uh, yeah, you haven't seen something like this. These are, these, these, this is a classic head and shoulders bottom. And we haven't seen a head and shoulders top or bottom in a long time. And, you know, if you want to see what one looks like, it's you get the left shoulder, you get the head, you get the right shoulder. And in this particular case, you, you broke the neck and you broke it with volume so your probability is the, the way the price pr projection goes you just take the top of of where the neck is which would be the, that 1945 and then the hot the low and just add that difference on top so it gets up somewhere near that high but it's going to be wild watching that whole uh, baby uh, shake out no doubt the um, apple let's, so let's go over to apple yeah, for a second they're really getting what, hit what today. they're saying with apple so Huh? Backing uh, off the lows. It's They're down, down. 270. Um, when do they come out with numbers now? Oh, no, November 1st. Oh, yeah. that'll be here before we know it. Let's see when. I'm just curious when the first falls on this year. So the first is going to be two weeks from this coming Thursday. Okay. So the Thursday is going to be the 18th. We yep. got two weeks from Thursday. Okay. It will be the first of and, November. And, and Bank of America. So they came out with numbers this morning, right? They did. Okay, so... So the conference call looks like lots of headlines there. There we go. Okay, so one more maybe. Uh, so I think these are the numbers we're getting into oh, yeah. right okay. here. Okay. Um, third quarter trading revenue 3.1 billion estimate was 3.15. Okay, they're a little shot, right? Yeah, and um, equities trading again a billion versus 1.06. Looks like this is the headline numbers. So total, there you go, though, they did exceed $22.93 billion versus $22.67 in earnings. They had $0.66. Cents. Let's just see how that's going to jump around. 66 versus estimate of 62 So pretty close to in line. Um, yeah. But nonetheless, the market. Market's taking it down. Yes. So this is going to be another classic. Uh, oh, is this under the February? Wow. Oh, this is a problem. Look at this, folks. Okay, this is a heads up too. This is under the February high volume swing low. Yeah, they've been up there. They've been under there, I was going to say, for they never quite had that rebound with the market, if right. you remember. I mean, right. look at how long they actually sat below that level. Yeah, coming into July. Yeah. And, and then only did they kind of rise above it as the market traded to all time highs. Meanwhile, they were just kind of sitting right near it. Yeah, they got problems, man. That's, yes. That's 22 bucks coming at you. Yeah. 22, that's the next level down. Yeah. Yeah. But, we're the t so let's go look at the XLF because that's going to affect the XLF. Yeah, XLF. Let's see. Oh, same deal. Oh, this is interesting. Actually, the XLF, 2676, 694 million. Okay, well we come into it with less, but XLF itself broke down too. So if the XLF gets underneath this at uh, $26.18, there's going to be big problems there. That's where we broke topside from. So you're still in a larger range, but just barely. That's saying quite a bit, man. Yeah. You know, uh, J.P. Morgan, I know that was having a tough time. And, you know, bottom line is that this has been the strongest, you know, basically banking stock. Yes. 
So this one here, that's 103. Pretty similar in terms yeah. of never quite getting completely out of that range of no. where, where we yeah. traded to in February. And that's going to bring me right back to that. Uh, it's going to be wild if that's going to be the range, meaning, uh, you know, that, that range on the S&P. Oh, here comes the Dow. So is it Positive this, territory. This thing wants points. to bounce, man. Yeah, yeah. we'll get some volatility. Big week last week. Market yeah. trying to figure out where we're going to go totally. this week. Totally. Yeah. And if we go over and we, if we go over and we take a look at the, uh, the DAX, you know, the DAX has got killed, but yet it's kind of flat right now. The yeah. FTSE and the UK... Same yeah. deal. Yeah, you both know. of those kind of hanging out where we right. finished the day on Thursday right. in Europe. Yeah. So you know, news-wise, market-wise, man, we're gonna we're gonna swap from uh, our side. It's gonna be back in the UK probably in another For week Brexit. and a half or something. Yeah, they they kind yeah. they some just they they like. Let me let me pull this up because I was. It's like they they're not gonna talk for a few weeks here or something. Come on, give me some news for the UK. Record wage. Uh... Oh, this. I, as I pull this up, folks, this is this is a, this is a beauty. You talk about just a um, uh, just the opposite move. When I just pulled this up, it, last week was the not last week. The prior week was one of the, see that bad time for record wage against bullion. What had happened is that it was one of the largest positions. In the futures market, also, I'm not sure what that one says, but okay, uh, that's one of the largest shot positions in the futures market. Okay, last in week. gold, in gold, okay, and, and the actual physical gold. Okay, um, this one here, I think, is about uh, is that is record wage against bullion, bad time for record wage. It's probably it's probably the same thing. They're, they're showing what? that equities weren't higher, but yeah, it's just saying. Meanwhile, it emerged that hedge funds made their biggest ever bearish wager on the precious metal just days before last week's right. surge. Right. Right. Um, and that's probably hinting to what you're talking about in terms of hedge funds loading up yep. on the bearish. And, and that gold. always helps. Now, it, what's going to get interesting, you know, you, you, you've probably heard Rob McEwen when I when I had him on. Now, the shot position inside. McEwen mine is still 19%. Now, it's like, well, will the shot squeeze get going here? Because this is kind of, you know, in two weeks we just went from a buck 87 to 225. Yeah. And and we'll see what it takes, you know. And I'm I'm not yeah. sure, you know, what it would take. Yeah. But this is outside of Newmont, not Newmont, outside of Barrack and Wrangell. This is definitely closer to that July high than the other stocks. And more than likely, this is gonna start squeezing, man. You know, so that it doesn't take much when you got one out of five equities are on the short side. Shares, yeah. 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 Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Uh Dow uh, up eight. Yeah, you, you get the, let's see where the VIX is at here. So twenty two insurance twenty two ish. Is, uh, yeah, see that? It's not backing yeah. off either. No. Yeah. It's still paying up for insurance. Stay right there, folks. Good night, man. Mr. Jason Path coming up next. We are going to be talking markets. And, of course, don't forget, Jason kicks us off every trading day right here, 830 Money Market Kickoff. Tommy and I come right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. 
No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. We have the Dow at 5. NASDAQ is down 58. S&Ps are off 5. Let's go over to my man, Mr. Jason Path, as you do each and every Monday at 20 past uh, the hour. Uh, 40 past the hour. Don't forget, folks, Jason kicks us off every trading day right here at TFNN, 830 morning market kickoff. He also has an outstanding newsletter. It's the Quantitative Edge. You can get this right now. Comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Really easy to do. You go to TFNN.com. You hit Featured Content. You'll see it right there. Uh, bottom line is that we would need a whole another hour to go through this whole newsletter. It's such an outstanding <laughs> newsletter. Rock and rolling, that's right. <laughs> right. You gotta love it. What's going on, brother? What's up, man? How, How you are doing? you? Well, we, we got some uh, action last week. We got a market, man. Yeah, the, the market is uh, moving. It's rolling. There's a lot right. of there's a lot of moving pieces in this market, man. Yeah, I said this morning, I think it's going to be the most volatile. If you take all markets into consideration, the level of volatility we have right now in any major market, whether it's metals, commodities, FX, stocks, certainly, I think it's peaked for the year right here this week. Tomorrow could be the most volatile, depending on where indexes land today. Tomorrow could certainly set up as a very volatile day within the most volatile week of the year. So it's yeah. a good time. And the way the markets are jumping around right now, it would point to it as in they can't quite figure out. We're positive, we're negative, we're off the lows we were making overnight. I mean, it's, yeah. And what does happen in a market like this, folks, is that, uh, I mean, the bottom line is that the surprises, I suspect, will come to the downside, but that's after a good bounce. That's where my head's at right now. Do you know what I mean? Because we, it was so nasty uh, on the way down. Um, I think folks were looking for a bounce, you know, on the way down and not breaking all those uh, averages. I mean, that's, in fact, I don't bring this up for a second because that's the first time that we actually broke the 200 day in a, in a few of these, like, and really broke them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there, there, there's the idea. Yeah. I mean, the, I just brought up the small caps. That's quite a, that's quite a break, you know. But I just, this is a three year chart and uh, maybe it's two year chart. And the last time, yes. Yeah, 
Last, yeah, well, three years ago was the last time we had a concise break yeah, on them. I think early 16. So, yeah, we're looking at, we're looking at your S&P chart. Talk to us about this, Jason. Well, yeah, looking at the, uh, you know, talking about the averages, talking about the 200 on the yes. S&P, to me, you know, both in futures and in the index, critical uh, given, you know, these quant funds have very specific, simple rules to re-leverage or deleverage in a close below the 200-day. Okay. You know, that initial close is where we saw the, the, the wave of selling last week as we broke that 50. Um, we are, we are you know, perilously close to a couple of more closes potentially below the, the 200 now this week, which, which is trigger a significant amount of selling from those, uh, you know, quant funds, sure. those CTA funds, those momentum-based funds. They were still pretty levered long going into last week. So they take those in step moves. You know, the first time you break it, they'll unload, you know, a certain percentage. It depends oh. on the model. Okay. So, you know, with each subsequent break, we're just going to continue to take step moves down to the to kind of the violence and the intensity that you spoke to last week. And we opened this week just perilously close to that 200-day on the S&P. And, you know, a, clo a meaningful close below that, I think. That's why I'm talking about, you know, tomorrow, too. We'll have, in my opinion, the potential, at least, for significant follow-through. A, a, a close lower today leads to a pretty rough open tomorrow. Yeah, given that would folks make sense to because, man, that 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 would be, well, I'm not sure how many days, but that would be the longest selling I've seen in a long time. Let's yeah. put it that way. Do you know yes. what I mean? Especially right. over a weekend, you're already oversold in the markets, and they're saying, well, guess what? We're going to get more oversold, just like overbought. I, I mean, you can be overbought forever, folks, okay? I mean, some of these equities have been overbought forever, so. Yeah. You jump around right, a little man. bit to the VIX in here as well. Yeah, Jason. let's talk about the VIX. Yeah, so looking at the VIX, I mean, to me, the, the term structure of the VIX continues to be the key indicator. Uh, it's hard to tell where the market's going to land on a day-to-day -day basis, but, you know, going into Friday, we knew it was going to be a wild ride. You can't have a VIX in backwardation and not have wild swings. Uh, we're still elevated coming into today. The, the distance between the month one contract and the term structure of the month two contract was about 10% this morning. Okay. We looked at on this morning's show at uh, – Comparing it to what I would call day four of the previous serious correction back in February, we're at about a 15% difference, so a little milder, but it's still it's still very elevated and, and steep. It doesn't necessarily mean we'll land lower. It just it really Friday was a classic case where we're just swinging back and forth. Could see continued action there this week. And to, to top it all off, obviously we're opening with earnings season, which could be volatile in and of itself. I mean, Netflix is is one of those just large cap stocks that will swing wildly in and out of earnings. And, uh, you know, to have already a peaked level of volatility in somebody like Netflix uh, with earnings tomorrow, you know, the bank, it's funny, we start with the bank stocks, those were pretty muted, you know, pretty in line with expectations, generally, you know, decent earnings. But as we get through some of these tech names, you know, a Facebook, a Twitter, a Netflix, oh, if yeah. we, we're still above 20 on a VIX going into a Netflix and an AMD and a Twitter. Yeah. It's, it's going to be just a significant ride, man. Because the last three days, just on Netflix alone. We, yeah, I we mean, looked at it. The, the, the spread, I think, is like $22 already. You know, it's like, yeah. okay, man. You I mean, know, yeah, and that's, that's tomorrow. Huge. You know, I, I mean, tomorrow just is really, to me, teeing up to be just a day to remember. But oh, I mean, baby. they all are right now. But I mean, tomorrow with Netflix and the volatility we're at, you see gold exploding, oil, all kinds of entry, gas ripping higher. Uh, it's all kind of converging to me to tomorrow, especially if we close lower today. Overnight could be bloody and we could open lower, but with some significant earnings releases that could swing sentiment either way. So what are you thinking about the oil market? It's interesting. I would expect it to pop higher on the Saudi story. Um, I think the world is definitely coming into the realization that we have significant demand destruction at a couple of percent given okay. the slowdown. We looked at you know, even like Latin America, for example, from an EM perspective. I mean, it's down materially like 5 6% in terms of demand across Latin America. Brazil, typically a pretty big consumer. China's breaking below last year's levels in terms of oil consumption. And you get so you much know, great information in this newsletter. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. No, we got these charts up in terms yeah. of Latin America, Brazil, right, yeah. And we've been talking about demand for a while. Clearly, the, the overlay has been the Iranian story. It feels like coming into this week, we had the Iranian story priced and we continue to work our way down as you know folks really got 
rooted in this lower demand. But then you've got, you know, the current Saudi story, and that is just a game changer potentially. I mean, if you've got the United States and Saudi at odds over a right. pretty difficult story, that it, I, I don't know how that one ends well. Yeah, I don't uh, think anybody. Uh, knows. Oh, they, no, right. the, the Saudis are going to throw someone under the bus, man. One, one of those guys. We'll hear it another week and a half. Well, they, they're going to be under the bus. That's why hopefully we have a president that doesn't allow them to do that. Yeah. If it's just right. No, I, I, miss, so. I, I, I don't believe my. They, right. That's that's my take on it though. Since yeah. they opened it up, well. it's like okay, man, here you go. They can try. You know? They're already trying. We'll All see. Right. If that shouldn't be the end of it, but we'll see. Yeah. Natural gas. How about natural gas as well, Jason? Yeah, weather's turned a little bit colder uh, a little earlier. Again, I, I really look for a volatile winter. Uh, not necessarily colder than average, but a lot of spikes higher and lower given the El Nino pattern uh, we're moving into. So uh, we're about 17% less than historical levels of uh, gas and storage right now. Weatherman Jason, I like it. We got it, all those <laughs> charts. So. Look at that, man. Totally. Folks, this is an outstanding letter. You can come over to our website at TFNN. Go into featured content. You're going to say the quantitative edge. You can check it out right there. You can subscribe month, six months, a year. Bottom line, all comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Have a great one, man. Have a safe okay. one. Look forward to the show tomorrow, Thanks, Jason. Thanks, man. Th thanks, Jason. Take care, man. Stay right there. Tommy and I come right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866 476 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up five. You get the Nasdaq down 63. S&Ps are up uh, five. Let's get over and take a look at Harmony. And uh, if you folks that are in the metals market, this is going to be intriguing, and there, this is why. So Harmony's already reached its uh, May, April highs, which is 210. You're at 213. But the reason it's so important is this, is that when you take a look at Harmony, Harmony was the first equity that actually got off the bottom in 2015 uh, at the beginning of 2016 when that was the last biggest run we ever made uh, in this market. And it also, and this is what basically got me jazzed in this particular case, it was also one of the first equities to reject lower price in this market now. Okay. So it's going to be really intriguing, like, what are the odds that Harmony was the first one out of the gate? Uh, but we'll find out, uh, you know, basically in another week. And I, the reason I'm saying another week is that you get a couple more equities that are, you know, up at those levels, then, you know, one falls, the other falls, the other. Sure. You know, there's stronger ones and weaker ones, but that means that the get-go is really in place, which is pretty wild, man. Yep. And the Rand dollar has stayed the same. And I think what it is, actually, is that it has to do with the... How many does hundreds of millions of ounces? And the break even though is so expensive. Do you know what I'm saying? So they do 20 million, billion. okay? 20 billion. But their break even um, is like way up there. Like which we're, we're trading in gold, you know, at the uh, 1232, but the break even might be like 1200. <laughs> it's okay. that dramatic. But okay. once it gets above that, because they do so many millions of ounces, it's not thousands, sure. it can accelerate. Nice. Stay right there, folks. We get Fast Market coming up next. And then, of course, we get our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. Be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Yeah! Go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.